LHK is kind of a factory for cryptocurrencies and uh, enter enterprise blockchain technology. So we're both a research company and an engineering company. Phase one, an introduction to Cardano. One of the best alternatives you need to follow. Uh -huh. Proof of stake algorithm, that's our borrows. It's what up amazing. guys, Nakamoto Crypto here. The golden era, as you all know, is just around the corner. And this is what will DeFi look like on the Cardano ecosystem once it's ready stay tuned like and subscribe let's get to 1000 subscribers so if you have taken even a passing interest into the blockchain space during the past year you would have come across decentralized finance this is a new phenomenon DeFi can apply to almost any traditional or hybrid financial product offered on top of the blockchain protocol. This could include open lending protocols, a peer-to-peer -peer loan platform or even the provision of services typically associated with traditional finance providers. But DeFi has been under fire. This is caused by high fees, smart contract exploits, and tables of significant user losses. And these factors have all necessitated on a new focus on improving the DeFi infrastructure and processes. This one is based around transparency, true decentralization, and high insurance. Therefore, with a significant milestone just around the corner for Cardano through the merry hard fork, it is a good time to examine the features that could make Cardano a highly attractive blockchain for building DeFi applications. We are going to explore just how Cardano could soon begin to have a profound impact on today's DeFi landscape. As soon as the merry hard fork goes live, token forging and a multi-asset ledger will be available on the Cardano blockchain. In turn, this will pave the way for decentralized applications, native tokens and all DeFi use cases. This will pave the way for decentralized applications, native tokens and all DeFi use cases. But just why might a DeFi project choose to run on Cardano rather than other peer protocols. Let's break it down to some simple areas where the Cardano blockchain could excel for DeFi projects. Number one. So we can all summarize that high gas fees have been and continued to be a huge issue and a stumbling block for DeFi protocols. Gas fees on some protocols have become so high due to increased network demand. Some users have reported paying extreme amounts of gas fees just to process a single transaction on DeFi. So not only do rising gas fees cost DeFi protocols themselves more when moving values and executing smart contract codes, but they also present another barrier to entry for new users. As we know, if we are to attract the biggest potential user group of decentralized finance products to those in emerging economies, we must ensure that we can keep these costs low. Similar to paying high fees for banking services, many users who desperately using new financial infrastructures simply won't explore the DeFi solutions if the costs are simply too high. But on Cardano, transactions between native tokens and native assets do not incur execution fees, and this is owing to the way they are deployed on chain. So the bottom line is that DeFi has the potential to be much more affordable on Cardano than the other networks. Number two is the smart contract security. As you all know, tokens are an essential part of most existing DeFi protocols. They are used for governance, utility, or yield distributions. On the other chains such as Ethereum, tokens require smart contracts just to run and often necessitate the development of complex purpose written code in the token contract. We could say that these tokens are non-native. In other words, they are not supported on the underlying ledger. Tokens on Cardano on the other hand are native tokens. This means that the tokens representing assets on Cardano 
use token logic that runs directly on the Cardano's ledger rather than using smart contracts so by removing the need for smart contracts to deploy tokens cardano removes the larger burden of gas fees associated with interacting with a token smart contract generating custom code for each token launched through a smart contract requires an extreme amount of confidence in that code so human error is a real risk in smart contract based tokens despite many of these contracts being responsible for potentially billions of dollars worth of on-chain value as a result bugs in the smart contract have already cost users millions of dollars in value over the past few years with smart contracts exploits happening somewhat on a regular basis we've all seen what happened with yam and other DeFi projects that fell down to zero due to these exploits and bugs so instead as cardano supports user defined native tokens DeFi tokens could be forged without the need for custom code the only required custom code is a minting policy which is permanently hash associated with its respective tokens as there is no way to change this policy. So Cardano does this while also supporting fungible and non-fungible tokens without the need for specialized contracts paving the way to represent a whole host of new world assets on chain securely and affordably therefore if serious institutional entities are exploring launching DeFi products then tokens which solve the inherent vulnerabilities and dangers of custom coded smart contracts could prove to be very attractive to them number three is the power of cardano's community this section is about you and me the Cardano's community which is immensely powerful together we have achieved goals that other protocols have long aspired to a near full decentralization throughout the community's led stake pools a thriving staking and delegation ecosystem and huge community channels more recently the community helped Cardano achieve another major milestone throughout project catalyst on that is a critical importance to attracting DeFi developers talent and funding new solutions on the Cardano network with over 3,000 people already signed up to vote and a $500,000 in fundings available through Fund3 Project Catalyst is one of the largest community-led funding initiatives on any blockchain up to date. So by pushing the power to the edges of the Cardano community, there has already been successfully funded DeFi proposals and one of the first projects that launched on the Cardano network and our community made it happen. Going forward, our community stands to be a driving force for the development and adoption of the Cardano blockchain for all kinds of solutions. With the project Mary on the horizon, we are now looking forward to seeing more ideas flourish through the project Catalyst and we anticipate that some of these will include more DeFi proposals as there is no execution fees payable with transferring native tokens on Cardano. There is minimal code required to launch a user-defined token on Cardano. There is no custom code available to exploit in the development of user-defined tokens on Cardano. And finally, DeFi will be more affordable more secure and way easier to launch on the cardano ecosystem this is the power of cardano like the video share subscribe for some daily crypto content i have been mr nakamoto crypto and i'm out